If you're looking to back up your hard drive or clone your hard drive or restore your hard drive with an image then you can't go far wrong from using this freeware piece of software from ESUS. You can get it from www.todo-backup.com okay, and it's called To Do Backup 1.1. It works with Windows 2000, XP, Vista and Windows 7. Also works with Windows Server 2000, 2003 and 2008. It's a free bit of software to use and they also make some other useful software as well. You can actually download it from here and uh, just pick on one of the links that you want to download it from. Okay. They also make uh, Partition Master as you can see and Data Recovery Wizard. Now the Partition Master is a very good piece of software as well as you well know. So let's have a little look at the program itself in action. I've already installed it so you'll have to install yours and then reboot. But this is the actual nice looking piece of software here. Very easy to use and uh, it looks similar to uh, Cronus really. But uh, this is free obviously. So you've got these three main buttons here, backup, restore and clone disk. Okay, so if you want to back up, you just click on backup. And then you pick which one you want to back up. Okay, so we're going to pick on this little small one here and I'm just going to go next. Now you can take a bit more time here to pick the location, but I'm just going to leave it default to my C drive and it's going to make this little file here called mybackup.pbd. Okay, so I'm just going to go next. Now you've got the choice here to uh, back up options. You can either set up an option manually or let the default settings do it. Okay, so let me just show you what the uh, options manually is. Let's go next, and you can see priority low, normal, or high. And you've got compression level if you want to actually compress the file to normal, high, or maximum. And you've also got the option to encrypt if you. Uh, work in an environment where you need to encrypt files and stuff like that. Okay, it's also got that, which is a really nice little touch. You've also got the uh, image splitting as well. Okay, if you want to split the image, if it's a massive image. Okay, I'm going to go back and use the default option. Now there is a little description down here that you can use to read if you get stuck, and also there is a nice handy little help file that you can actually click on that gives you quite a lot of information. So let's go next. Now this is very useful for the actual comments that you may want to put. Now say for argument's sake you've got 10 computers you're going to need to put descriptions for each image otherwise you're going to get confused which one was for which computer. Okay, So in here you could put I don't know computer 1, computer 2, computer 3, whatever you, whatever the computer is that you're backing up and the description, time, date and it's very useful. It'll have me a little readme file so you can actually look at that file to say oh this is for I don't know if you call your computer names you can actually name it in this sort of uh, fashion in here okay let's go next and then proceed okay and then that will back up you won't see this this is just to do with my firewall and now it's backing up okay so it shouldn't take too long I'll quickly pause the screen here Okay, that backup's nearly done now, and the operation was successful. Okay, so click OK and click Finish. Okay, so that's our little backup we've just done there of that little tiny uh, partition. If you have got a big massive uh, partition with loads of data on it, it will take a bit longer than that. Okay, so what we're going to do here now is have a look at the Restore function, which you can actually click on. And what you need to do is find the location of your file, and it's that file again called P. B D. Okay, so you need to go to the location. In this case, it was my C drive, and you'd have to go to the location where it actually um, where it put that file. Okay, so let me just come down and see if I can find it quickly. Okay, so I found my uh, file there now. As you can see, it's in my program files. It stuck it in the actual folder of the actual program, and it's in the bin folder. And then you can see it there mybackup.pbd okay so we're going to click on that and there you can see the actual backup is done so then go next and then we need to put in where we need to restore partition or disk okay so if we just went like that it would actually restore what we want it to do then go next and you've got down here a little box here that says sector by sector restoration okay if you wanted to do that 
you can put the tick in there okay if you don't understand what that means you can actually use the help me file to actually tell you roughly what that is and what it does okay so then we go next and it will want to now select the place where you want to put it okay so if you wanted to put it here I'm not going to do it because I don't want to reinstall it so it will go back to here and we well actually I'll just put it over the top of the old one so we're going to go back to D uh, E drive sorry and call it data so I'm going to go next uh, primary active or logical so you just select on which one you want to do here and then if you don't understand what they are just read the little descriptions at the bottom okay so what we need to do is just click on next and then install okay and that will put the image back so the next one we want to do is clone okay we're going to have a little look at the actual clone disk here now say for argument's sake you wanted a clone uh, say this what you can now do well okay we're going to clone the C drive we we'll clone the C drive and then go next and you need to put the location for that C drive onto another location it can't go to the same location the same destination where that program is installed okay so I'm going to do C and I have to select this next drive go next and now you can actually see what it's going to do it's actually going to clone disk 1 which is my C drive and it's going to put it onto my disk 2 drive okay so if I went next and it will say this operation will delete all the data blah 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 and it's now going to copy that into that drive there so if you had a blank drive hold on, please click yes to continue no so for argument's sake if you wanted to clone your C drive and put it onto this new hard drive that you've got here now this is our brand new hard drive that we've just plugged in say and I want to clone what's on my C to there okay that's exactly what you do so going back disk 1 was the C drive that I want to copy I want to copy it to my brand new drive which is disk 2 which is uh, ready to go and then go next and then obviously what it's going to do is copy all the C drive windows and programs to this brand new drive I don't want to do it because it isn't a brand new drive it's got all my stuff on it and then go next and it will clone that drive to there an identical clone okay and it's as simple as that really there's some other bits and pieces on here as you can see mount and unmount you can mount images you can check an image file as well which is a very useful thing you must always remember it's no good making backups if you don't check the image because if the image becomes corrupted in the process of backing up and you think you've got a very good image there and you don't check it and you come to actually your system crashes and you try to reinstall and the image file is corrupt that's it end of game it's no good to you so you need to make sure that your image file is is nice and it's working okay then you can use this check image to actually scan okay the image file itself let's have a little look at it anyway in in action I shall come to programs and uh, come down to here and here and it's in there and this is my image that we backed up earlier I shall go next and then proceed and it will check this image to make sure the image is in good working order to make sure it's not corrupt or in any way okay this is very important if you're doing lots of images okay so let me just let that finish that's finished and it says everything's okay so what we need to do now is have a check at some of the other stuff and as you can see we've got an options list here and you've got prior, uh, priority you've got low normal or high compression you can actually put the compression or you can take the compression off if you want if you don't want to compress things okay and you've also got image splitting so that's about it for this uh, video thanks very much for watching my name is brian from brightech.co.uk hope you enjoy my videos if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel and rate for all my videos also if you want to uh, register on my forum and put your questions over there or video requests then please do so thanks again for watching bye for now